Hey there, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music. Welcome. The most important piece of kit that you will ever own is free and already on your person. It's your ears. And I made videos about the importance of maintaining the kind of quality of your hearing health. I have ignored a lot of my own advice over the years, but I have talked about it a lot on this channel. But what I have not really talked about is the importance of leveling them up in terms of, you know, your critical listening ability. So having, you know, golden ears, understanding where frequencies are and being able to notch them out because you've done some exercises such that in your head, your intuition is informed by that to the point where you can go, hmm, maybe there's a thing at 700 hertz or maybe there's something going on at 15,000 cycles. I got to notch that out, which is why I was really interested to check out Sound Gym, small, I think, Israeli company that makes a cool community content and platform website where you can level up your critical listening skills. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get started, as I always say, many of you are not subscribed. I don't ask you to click an affiliate link. There's no, you know, support me on my Patreon. How you can support me is just by subscribing. Subscribe, hit the bell. You get notified when new videos come out. Leave a comment. Um, write me at vodcastpodcaster at gmail.com. I'm on Instagram, Manchester Music Official. It means a lot to me if you subscribe. So please do that if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, I really appreciate you. Thank you. All right. In this video, we are going to explore this website, which I have been playing with for a couple of weeks now, and go over some of the exercises. And then I'll deliver my pros and cons, because there are a couple things that I think constitute maybe some areas of improvement, but there's definitely a lot to love about Sound Gym. So without further ado, let's jump in now. Okay, so before we jump into uh, Sound Gym, let's just cards on the table, talk about the pricing. I know a lot of people wanna know about that. So we have three kind of tiers that we can choose from a monthly, yearly, and lifetime. So monthly is reoccurring billing, 24 bucks, 95 cents a month. Yearly is you pay, I guess, for a year, you lock in, and then it's $9.90 a month. Or lifetime, 400 bucks, you get everything. What's everything? Unlimited access to 20 sound games, whole workouts, focus training, track your progress, train with more premium sounds. Also, you get access to, I think, a really positive, um, healthy, critical listening community. So there you, you go. You, now you know everything about the tiers and everything. So let's just jump into the actual website. So we have a couple of uh, things to check out here. This is home base, the gym. You have your games, EQ mirror, compression, a stereo head. They're all designed to improve your critical listening skills. Uh, you have the ear doctor here, which is kind of like a calibration diagnostic tool to check your overall hearing. They have some uh, advocacy here to either get some good speakers or headphones. I got my HD650 Sennheisers on. Um, and then there's also uh, your stats here, sound coins, sound coins, which you can use to buy uh, different things in this kind of universe, like different uh, sound examples for your um, exercises and things like that. You can see your stats um, in the community tab here. This is what I think is really special about Sound Gym. You have a positive um, kind of, you know, environment where people are encouraging each other. You've got leaderboards. You can uh, cheer people on. You can see how people did compared to you. Uh, there's these duels, which are happy, <laughs> happy, which are fun little mini games. I just saw happy hour, a drink there, um, where you can kind of go head to head with people um, and kind of test your your hearing abilities. You've got stats, which is kind of like your own uh, stats and how you compare based to everyone else. I haven't been playing too much in Sound Gym. I've been doing more exploring and dabbling, so. Uh, you can see which percentile you're in. Obviously, these aren't very good <laughs> to be in the 2.55 percentile, but I've just been dabbling in things like that. And we have Learn as well, which is kind of curated uh, videos and things like that. And there's Contest, which we get to like EQ Playground and the duels that I mentioned a while ago. Um, and then you've got your sound coins here. And you've also got blog, videos, community, who to follow. Uh, there's a certification program, which is interesting, merchandise, and then some kind of legal housekeeping and stuff. So why don't we start with, I think, maybe the, you know, this is why people come here, the gym. Okay, so let's start with one of the exercises here. Why don't we go to Reverb Wizard? Okay, so you're presented with three sounds. One of them has different reverb settings than the other two. Pick the unique one. So which sounds different? Now, when you click through, you get to one of these pages here. What you 
see sometimes is a video showing you like, hey, this is how the game works. They don't always have them, but I find they're really helpful because if you don't know how a game works, you might click on things and make a mistake and skew your score. So anyway, um, not a big deal, but just something I noticed. You've got down here the training sounds. If you have sound coins, you can buy uh, more. We'll see those in a couple other games, but you can either pick, I want vo female vocals, acoustic guitar, trumpet, or male vocals. Let's choose um, female vocals. So let's play the game. Really simple kind of screen here. Very easy to start learning. It's very kind of flat and clean. Uh, so which sound has different reverb settings? Finish stage 12 to unlock the next level. I'm ready to play. I'll press next. We're living our life under the sun where okay. there is no love and there is that no one's got shine. reverb we're living our life under the sun where there is no love and there is no shine we're so i have to select the one that has a different reverb setting where there is no that one has reverb and there is no shine this one has we're reverb our life under the sun. so this is the one that doesn't have reverb on it cool score because 100. We don't want to These are both dry. This one has reverb. We don't want to Check this one. Nice. Falling, falling, falling down. Reverb. Reverb. Fall. Check this one. All right, let's keep moving. I used to steal those bubble, bubble, bubble gums. That one has a bit of reverb on it. Some room. Those bubble, bubble, bubble gums. I used to steal those bubble, bubble, bubble That one has some room on it too. These two are the same. This one is a different one. Nice. Because we don't want to. Because we don't want to. This is the different one, I think. Okay, let's keep moving. Falling, falling, falling down. Always listen for the tails. When people stop singing and the sound persists, that'll give you an indication of whether it has reverb or not and how different it is compared to another reverb. So not hearing any tails on this guy. Hearing them on those two. Okay, cool. Let's keep moving. We're living our life under the sun. Where there is no love and there is no shine. We're living our life under the sun. Where there is no love and there is no I think no it's this one. Nice. Keep going. We're living our life under the sun. For some of these, you got to turn the Where volume up because it gets no a little tough to hear that tail. There is no shine. We're living our this life. one, I think. Okay. Soon, my love. I'll be here by your side. I think it's this one. I used to steal those bubble, bubble, bubble. That one. Go with the flow and raise your hands and let it be and get it dry. Okay, We're almost done. Life under the sun where there is no love and there is no shine. We're living our life under the sun where there is no love and there is no shine. It's We're kind of tough. We're living our life under the sun where there is no love and there is no shine. We're living our... I think it's that one. Okay, cool. So we have cleared level one. We're ready to go to level two. What I want to do instead is actually go to another game so we could check this out. Um... On a different level here so let's try another game let's try um which one do i want to try eq night choose between two sounds and find the audio source that reflects the eq settings that you see all right enter game so here we have a video so this is helpful i find because again sometimes i'll click on these things and because i don't really know what i'm doing i'll mess up my scores so we can watch the video it goes to youtube EQ Night is an audio game that will train and improve your EQ skills for faster and more accurate decisions in the studio. Select the audio source that reflects the EQ parameters that are presented to you. Listen and compare the original sound source with the... Got it. Okay, cool. So we can pick our sound source. Um, I don't want to hear vocals again, so why don't we go with piano? Cool. So let's play the game. 
Select the audio source that reflects the EQ parameters. All right, here we go. So that sounds kind of mid-rangey boosted to me. This one sounds like it could be a bit more at 750. Let's check this one. Oh, I got it wrong. I guess I got it wrong. Sounds to me like it's this one. Okay, nice. Got it right. Let's keep going. this one. Okay. Keep moving. So big peak at 600 cycles and a dip, big dip at 2.5. I mean, I'm hearing the big peak here at 600 on this guy. So I think it's this one. Cool. Two peaks. I think it's got to be this one here. Cool. Okay. I think it's got to be this one. Nice. You might be asking yourself, well, like, what's the value of actually doing these exercises where... Um, you know, you can hear if something has reverb or not. Like, I think most people are used to the whole, you know, EQ thing. We've seen that before. To those folks out there, I would say that if you're given a reference as a mix engineer and someone says, I want you to make my song sound like, you know, this song. When you do enough of these exercises, you are able to hear the difference between a quarter note or an eighth note delay or, you know, a reverb with a huge tail or, you know, a very short tail, something that has a lot of early reflections versus not. So it's getting your ear trained and accustomed to how things sound so that you inform your intuition when you're going to make moves and decisions based on something someone wants their track to sound like. You can go, okay, I think I'm hearing this, 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 and then you just go apply it and do it. And because of your exercising in this kind of environment, I think it sharpens your ability to kind of know what you're listening uh, for in a reference and go find it in your own mix. So just in case anyone's kind of wondering like why and how these are actually helpful. Um, let's do one more uh, game here. Let's try um, Compressionist, enter this game. Let's choose drums, drums HD. All right, listen, compare and restore the compression settings. Okay, so I guess we can choose between 100 milliseconds or zero, and then we can change the makeup game. I think that's wrong, but... Yeah, let's change that so it doesn't attack so quick. A bit louder. Nice. Continue. Let's try the makeup game here. Nice, keep going. I'll 
try 75 milliseconds. Let's try 10. There, now I'm hearing more of the room. Nice. Keep going. Hmm, okay, this could be 10. No, that snare's coming through way more on 75. Try that. Nice. Hmm. I think I have my milliseconds right. Now it's just about level matching. Hmm. The symbol's kind of not sounding the same. There we go. It is 10. I think. Yep. Keep going. I think this is right. Yep. Let's see if I can get to the end here. What I always listen for is the overheads and the symbols. They'll kind of tell me if I'm right. Tough. This is tough. Ah, I was wrong. Twenty five. Can I redeem myself? Okay, come on. I think this is right. Yes, we made it. There we go, level one cleared. Okay, so we started off in the gym. Now we uh, can explore a little bit further in the community tab. You can see your sound performance index SPI. Um, you can compare your stats with others by going over to the stats menu, but you can see that there's people encouraging each other and just leaving really positive comments, which I think is cool. There's prizes, basically merchandise. There's videos over here. Um, there are, yeah, a lot of people just making noise, which is wonderful. Um, the stats, here you can get a bit more granular training history insights and you can kind of track your progress this is very uh, gamified which is kind of nice so there's different benefits and sound coins and things like that to progressing through the system and there's also this learn tab where you can kind of dive a little bit deeper into different aspects of audio uh, processing so recording and audio engineering mix and mastering synthesis live sound electronic music production if i were to click on recording and audio engineering you can see that there's a bunch of videos here. They all seem to be scraped from YouTube um, and you can assign it to an official program. So if I go here to program and say, yes, I'm ready. I want you to assign this to me. When I go uh, back to learn here, I don't see the menu of choices like I did before. I am now in a recording and audio engineering, you know, kind of step-by-step -step thing. And it looks like we have Joe Gilder here. I think he's with Studio One and Personas now, uh, AKA, I guess, Fender now. Um, but you can see the fundamentals of audio and all this stuff. Again, this is all scraped from uh, YouTube. And uh, yeah, so now you're kind of in, in one of those, you know, um, programs. If I want to quit the program and go back, that's cool. Quit the program, 
and I'm back over here and I can see all the other stuff. So there are a couple other aspects to, to, to Sound Gym that I haven't really explored. I wanted to focus more on the interactive training and the platform, but there's uh, Tone Gym, which is more for musicians. I'm assuming it's the same company as Sound Gym, but they're just branching off a little bit. There's some beat making and beat making matching kind of games and stuff you can do too, but I'm a bit more interested in the ear training stuff, which is what I wanted to focus on. So why don't we get to the kind of pros and cons here of uh, Sound Gym as I see them. So the pros, I think this is probably one of the most comprehensive ear training um, places that I've, I've seen. I'm familiar with a couple and there's Golden Ears training, which is like CDs. There's uh, Pro Audio Essentials from Isotope, which is um, desktop only and it hasn't been updated in some time. This seems like it has a lot of life behind it and there's a lot of passion, the community's great. I just think the exercises, the consistency of aesthetics, the flat kind of everything, it looks really great, it works great, very easy to get into. Um, and it's just very, very accessible. And so I think on that level, they've really nailed it. Um, and I haven't gone too deep into like level two, level three and all that stuff, but the introduction, introductory courses are um, you know, they're, they're fun, but they're a little hard, right? I got some of them wrong. So they're, they're not totally like super easy right off the bat and they get harder. They're, I think they're the right level of, of, of difficulty. And there's a lot of different ones to choose from. And as I said, as you hone your ears and critical listening skills as a mix engineer, you'll be able to get the sounds that are in your head or in a reference much faster if you kind of understand how all this stuff works through the exercises. So I think they did, you know, a, a really, really good job here. Another pro to me just is the community. I mentioned this in the mix with the masters in the pure mix review that I did was that with pure mix, there really felt like there was a strong community, people cheering each other on people getting their mixes reviewed with sound gym. It feels alive. It feels lived in like a real world. And I really like that about it. And I think they did a great job. Um, I think the prices are actually really good too. I think they're pretty reasonable. It's kind of nice. You can just kind of pay a flat fee and then get access to everything forever, as opposed to like, you have to keep paying and you're not really sure if they're going to update it here. It's just like, here, just give us 400 bucks and you get everything. So the price seems to me to be really, really, really great. Um, those to me are the, the main things. Like it does what it says on the tin. It, you, you do get ear training. You do get your exercises. It does really work well, I think. So as far as the cons go, um, there's only a couple and uh, they're very nitpicky. The first one is not all of the exercises have uh, videos and not all of them are immediately kind of like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. So I often found myself clicking on some of them um, and making a mistake, going to the next level, for example, hitting, hitting like click. And then I accidentally entered my first answer for the second round, which skewed my scores, which was kind of annoying, but um, it's again, a very minor thing. I just feel like there should be a consistent either video or you should kind of know like, Hey, something's beginning hands off the keyboard. Here we go. Just if you're, you know, very pedantic, like I am and, and precious about your scores. The second, um, thing I want to call out was I think in every single one of the games that I tried, all of the graphics that they used featured men. And, you know, I don't want to get too, you know, political or anything like that, but you know, there's probably not a lot of women in the audio industry, but there certainly are some, and it would be nice if they were represented here a bit more. Um, I just find like, they're probably using what, like Adobe Illustrator. So how hard is it to just illustrate a, a different looking person in the chair? Um, that's just a, a very small thing. I think my biggest issue though, with Sound Gym, um, and let's, you know, big with a lowercase b, is, is this learning program. Considering that you're paying for the exercises and everything, I would kind of expect, you know, something a little bit more kind of homegrown and organic instead of something that has scraped, you know, YouTube for, for some free stuff. And that's not to say that the people involved in these videos aren't knowledgeable and everything. We have like, you know, the guy from Kush, CLA, uh, Jonathan Weiner, I don't know who this person is, but it, it just feels kind of like hodgepodge together. And these are free. Uh, and I believe that you can get access to these videos, even if you're not paying, they're kind of free and curated for you, but it just feels like a little kind of half baked for them to be just scraping some free stuff and putting it here and organizing it. I remember watching a couple and like, there were some ads in some of them, cause obviously it's YouTube. Um, I also don't know if the people who've made these videos know that sound gym is, is using them, I guess, because it's free or because it's YouTube, maybe sound gym doesn't have to worry about that. But that was the one part of this that kind of felt like. 
oh, this is a little, there's a little less love going on in the video curriculum. And like, I could just go to YouTube and watch this stuff. But I guess the benefit here is that it's all curated and, you know, it's kind of simplified and put in, in, into a program. But to me, that was just like, meh, very small kind of footnote here in, in the larger offering, which again, I think is really, really great. So if you're interested in checking out Sound Gym, I'll leave a note in my description, very easy to get to it. And you don't have to subscribe or pay to get some of the exercises. There's some free ones before you get asked to kind of join and then go beyond the paywall. So let's go to the other side and uh, say goodbye. Okay, what did you think? Do you agree, disagree? Do you have another kind of ear training critical listening website that you think I should check out that might be superior or a great kind of accompanying, you know, uh, uh, project to Sound Gym, something that I don't know about? Let me know. And uh, yeah, again, leave a comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I check all of it. I always respond either with a like, a heart, or a comment to your comment. And I will see you in the next one.